We're continuing our conversation with United States Navy veteran Carolyn Kraft. We're talking to Carolyn here and stuff about uh, her time, and yeah, I could probably do a whole show with you just on the uh, on, on your roots here in the Antelope Valley and your family, and uh, I, I just find our local history so interesting, and I'm just fascinated by the the journeys of people that have grown up here. Uh, you know, Tom coming up here. Of course, this was your 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 home. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out. So, Tom, what was the, for you as a married couple? What was the attraction to come back to the Antelope Valley from Japan? It was was it the job offer or, or no? You no, know, he job didn't or, have a job offer, but he thought he could maybe teach at the college. To teach at the college here, and he looked at this after all these glamorous places you've lived in the world. <laughs> I go and suddenly we're gonna go to the Hell Valley. Uh, back in those days, uh, you know, we were a one horse town still, kind of. But uh, there, there was an attraction here. Was it because you had family here? Yeah, we had family here. Yeah. I had a, we had a daughter here. Okay. My mom and dad. Oh uh, no, they'd already passed away. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he had gone to Washington, stopped to see the kids on mm -hmm. the way home mm -hmm. and the house next door was available mm -hmm. and so he bought it ah gotcha and so we had a place to go to yeah yeah and uh, then all this other happened with oh, the yeah. credit union and yeah so tom's parents were from where where was tom south from? carolina south carolina and they have both passed away yeah. he didn't have any brothers or sisters yeah, gotcha. so, so there's nothing taking him back to there yeah, I uh, I remember a, a, a special night in Tom's life, and you were there, uh, the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds when he was recognized by the community for his work, uh, and he received the uh, gosh I don't even know if they do that anymore the uh, uh, they give the award out to a specific person you know yeah. that is really and I remember uh, Pride of the Nation Jamie Goodrow. Yeah. And everybody was in attendance there, and it was a big deal, and it was a big surprise. And mm -hmm. I think that's the only time I'd ever seen Tom go up on stage to receive something where he was, because you know, like Pete Knight had been recognized, you know, mm -hmm. for his uh, things like that. And you know, I, I never saw Tom really get choked up over anything, but I think that was one night. It was just a little bit overwhelming for him, and so yeah. richly deserved and you must have been proud it's your husband up there you know and well and, and the other thing he had spoken a number of times at her class oh yeah absolutely so. yeah he was a he's a good guy and, and gave so much back to the community and yeah. in, in, in those and stuff and of course he was uh for all those that don't know tom was uh you know probably the real well he's one of the main reasons we have a veterans home here in, in the yes, Valley in Lancaster. He was just like a a pit bull, you know, making you know, dogging people about making that happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a special day when they finally mm -hmm. broke ground and finally got that open. And yeah. I, I go over there every month and do programs over there every month still. And I realize that uh, the, the quality and great people that came along to make that happen. Yeah. So... Uh, it's a great legacy for him that will always be there. And, uh, you know, with you, uh, you know, you're living here in Rancho Village now, and uh, you're reflecting back on, on a lot of cool stuff, and now you've got all these new friends here and <laughs> things like that. Uh, you know, and, and you have a grandson, Jason, mm -hmm. uh, works up at Scale Composites. Right. Does his wife still work up? Yes. She mm -hmm. work, both work up there? She, yeah. She's a welder and a good one. Yeah, she is. She's uh, one of those, uh, I'm hoping my daughter takes after, you know, because she <laughs> works with her hands and tools and things like that. But your family has that great legacy. And uh, Jason, Jason, boy, he he's motivated, you know. Yeah. He must have got some of that, that Tom From DNA, his, yeah. you know, that just yeah. uh, pushed him through. And uh, so glad they're doing so good. And, uh, you know, once again, I, you know, want to thank you for coming in and, well, and spending some time with us and, and chatting a little bit about your, your history there and uh, your family. Your family's maiden name, your maiden name was what? Tinsfeld. Tinsfeld. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I'll have to look that up because if you graduated in 47, I've got yeah. all those yearbooks. I'm gonna Do you? Go, I'm going to go see that high school picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a good thing. 
and uh, maybe sometime we'll get together and we'll talk about the high school years and on a, on a different type of program that I like to do. So anyway, thanks for coming in, and I hope You're this wasn't welcome. too painful. No, yeah, it, it was, was good. It stuff was you know, good. you're at ease. And you stuff. made it easy. Yeah, I made it easy and stuff. So <laughs> it's always good, you know, good friends around here in the Antelope Valley. So anyway, thanks again for coming in, and we'll wrap this you're up now. You're welcome. And we'll see you next time here at uh, AV Veterans Talk here at Aerotech News. Thank you for tuning into this segment of AV Veterans Talk here at Aerotech News.